Today we're going to talk about exponential functions. So let's look at an example. We have Scott Farkas has been hired by a company that pays him a dollar on the first day and doubles his pay each day after the first. That sounds like a pretty good job. Um, the chart below uh, illustrates how much money he gets paid each day. Let's assume that on day zero, he gets paid $1. And every day after that, the amount he gets paid is doubled. So on the first, on day zero, he gets paid a dollar. Next day, he gets paid $2. Then second day, $4, $8.16, and so on and so forth. Till the seventh day, he earns $128 a day. It's pretty good. This is a very special kind of function. As I said before, it's an exponential function. Now this is an exponential function since each time x is increased by one, the y values or the f of x values are being multiplied by two. When you have a, such a function, it's known as an exponential function. And in our case, our equation would be f of x is equal to one times two to the x. So let's see what this means in terms of exponential functions. Look, looking at our chart up above, we have our gener general form of an exponential function, which is a, b to the x. The a value is what's called the initial amount. In our case, Scott earned $1 initially, so that's our a value. And b is our growth factor. In this case, we notice it's what we're multiplying by. In Scott's case, we're multiplying by two each day. So this value of B, this is value of B is two. And that is our function, A, B uh, to the X. In this case, it's one times two to the X. So you notice that in our first box, it's one times two to the zero. We all know two to the zero is one, so we get one. In our second box, it would be our initial amount, one times two. 2 to the first power, well that's 2, then 1 times 2 to the second power, as we know that's 4, 1 times 2 on the third day to the third power, that's 8, and so on and so forth. Fourth day is 1 times 2 to the fourth power, that's 16, and so on and so on. So that's an e exponential uh, equation that, uh, that demonstrates this example. Let's look at an example that is not an exponential function. Notice that in this next example, uh, we may start off with 1 on day 0, but we are not multiplying by 2. We are adding 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. And so on. We keep adding 2. Notice how different that is from our exponential function, where we are multiplying by 2 and then 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16 and so on and so forth so we are constantly multiplying by a factor in this case it was a factor of 2 that is very different than adding by 2 if we want to find the equation of this function below it is simply f of x equals 1 plus 2x. So 1 plus uh, 2 to the 0 is 1. 1 plus 2 to the first is 3, and so on. So notice that is very different. That is a linear function, but what we're dealing today with are exponential functions. We we're always multiplying by a factor. So here's a quick example. Uh, can you find the equation for this function? Why don't you press pause and see if you can figure that out. Hopefully you figured it out correctly. You might notice that the initial amount A is 1 because we're starting off with 1. And then we're constantly multiplying by 3. And so our B is equal to 3. And so our general form of our exponential is f of x equals a b to the x. So in this case, it's 1 times 3 to the x is what our equation would look like. Uh, f of x equals a 
b to the x. So let's repeat that one more time. An exponential is always in the form of uh, a, uh, f of x equals a b to the x, where the initial amount is a, and the growth factor is b. Now, the initial amount doesn't have to be 1. It could be a different number. It could be 2. It could be 3. It could be 4. It depends on uh, what number you start with. A couple of caveats. Notice that a cannot be equal to 0, because if we had f of x equals 0 times b to the x, well, you'd just get 0. So that would make no sense. And notice that b must be a positive number, but b cannot be equal to 1. Take a look at what would happen if b was equal to 1. Let's say you had f of x equals some number. That could, let's just say a times 1 to the x. Let's say a was, uh, it really doesn't matter. If you think about it, 1 to the x is always 1. So, for example, we would just get a. If it was 3 times 1 to the x, you'd get 3 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, and it would always be 3. So 3 times when x is equal to 1, you would get 3 times 1 to the first. Well, that's just 3. If x were equal to 2, you get 3 times 1 squared. Well, that's equal to 3. So that would not make much sense. And that certainly, when, when I say that would not make much sense, I mean it would not make sense in the terms of being an exponential function. So for it to be a real exponential function, the growth factor actually has to grow and the number one cannot grow. So um, you cannot have uh, b be equal to one, otherwise it just has to be a number greater than zero, and a cannot be equal to zero. I hope that's clear. So knowing that, it is now your turn. So we want you to find the exponential equation for the following function. What I would strongly advise you to do is write down your general form of your exponential function. Decide what is the initial amount that you start with. That's your A. Uh, what is your growth factor? That's your B. And then you can uh, find the equation. Uh, good luck and see you again next time.